Hello, all of YouTube! Hey, how's it going? CTK? Okay, so, um, pretty much I rose my levels to level 20 for these two, and I don't think I showed you guys the, um, the natures and stuff, so let's go ahead and get that done. Uh, we got Relax, a relaxed kitty cat with a pickup, which I've been getting a whole bunch of berries, and actually I got a TM, too. And then we have, a uh, Chlorophyll, um, too late, with, a uh, Lonely Nature, so, uh, let's get this started, guys. Um, so, I guess we didn't explore town yet, so we'll go ahead and do this. The urge to battle with someone you've tingled with before. Have you ever had that urge? I'm sure you have. I wanted to battle certain people, too, again and over, too. So I've been giving these away. Please take one. Wait, so, in, instead of, like, battling, um, re rematching your rivals and stuff, you just, like, hang out in this Pokemon Center, and, um, and, wow, that's cool. And that kid talk talked about how, uh, his Pokemon was fainted, and he, or, it was poison, and it fainted as he walked into the Pokemon Center, um, yeah, good thing he's not nuzlocking it up, because then he'd be fucked. So, um, let's see, so... Pretty much, we got these guys just telling us the basics of Pokemon still. Um, got this old guy. Let's see what he's doing. Did you see the SSN moored in the harbor? Cool. Or probably it was like, did you see the SSN moored in the harbor? I'm the fishing guru. I simply love fishing. I can't bear to go without. Tell me, do you like to fish? Yes, yes I do. Grand, I like your style. I think we're going to be friends. Take this and fish, young friend. Okay, so we got the old rod, guys. Um, I mean, there's no grass or anything in this town. So what am I going to do? I'm definitely going to fish. I mean, I'm pretty sure the only thing I can catch is a Magikarp. Maybe a Golding? Maybe? Possibly? Question mark? Perhaps? Um, but I'm um, pretty sure that we're just going to go ahead and get a Magikarp here. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and we're fishing, and we're fishing, and we're fishing, fishing, nothing. No nibble or anything. And we're fishing. We want a Gyarados on our team. Hopefully it's like level 15 or something. And it's level 5. Crap. Okay. So, um... Well... A little scratch. And I'll probably die. So, um, yeah. No, no, uh, Magikarp for us. Oh, well. Whatever. I didn't even want one anyway. So, we'll go do this kid. We're careful about pollution here. We've heard Grimer multiplies in Toxic Sludge. Yes, yes it does. Okay. Vermilion City, the port of exquisite sunsets. Oh, that's, uh, that's beautiful. Beautiful, dude. A Machop is stopping on the land flat. Blah, 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 blah. I'm putting a building on this plot of land. I own it all. My Pokemon is tamping the land to lay the foundation. Cool, I'm pretty sure you're never going to meet, make any headway on that building, but hey, go for it. Go for what you would like. Pokemon Fan Club, all Pokemon fans welcome. And we got... Vermilion City, Pokemon Gym, Leader Lieutenant Surge, The Lighting American. So, uh, we'll just go into the Pokemon Fan Club and get... get the free bike voucher here. Cool! I just adore my seal, it's so lovable, it's Will's Q when I hug it! What, what, what are these? Let's all listen politely to other trainers. Okay. I chair I chair the Pokemon fan club. Uh, I raised more than 100 Pokemon. I'm very fussy when it comes to Pokemon. I surely am. So, did you come to visit to hear about my Pokemon? Good. Then listen up. My favorite Rapidash. It's cute, lovely, smart, plus amazing. You think so? Oh, yes. It's stunning. I kindly love it. Hug it when sleeping, warm, and cuddly, spectacular <laughs> Rapidashing. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm like, I feel bad for this Rapidash, because I feel like he might rape it at night. Um, a little, a little obsessed there. I kept you too long. Thanks for hearing me out. I want you to have this. <laughs> CGK received a bike voucher. Um, take that bike voucher to the bike shop in Cerulean City. Exchange that for a bicycle free of charge. Don't worry, my favorite Firo. Wait, wait, what? Was it, was it your favorite Rapidash a little while ago? I mean, are you like two-timing your Pokemon here? Anyways, we'll fly me anywhere I need to go, so I have no need for a bicycle. I hope, yeah, I'm, I'm done talking to you. I don't care what you had to say. Our Shaman is very vocal about Pokemon. Um, Humph. My Pikachu is twice as cute as that one. Okay, whose Pikachu is this? If it's nobody's, let me, let me just go ahead and take it. Take it off whoever's hand. Okay, let's see, we got a building here. We got, who we got? We got a little girl. Hi, do you have a Spearow? Want to trade it for my Farfetch'd? I, I don't have a Spearow, nor do I really want a Farfetch'd. Um, let's see, we got a little house here, a little Pidgey. It's going to like carry off some mail. Oh, Pidgey, don't get in my effing 
Jesus Christ, Pidgey. <laughs> Don't get in my way. I want to exchange mail with all sorts of people. I'll send my Pidgey to a union room to exchange mail for me. That's cool. Not any anything I've ever done. Dear Pippi, I hope to see you soon. I heard Saffron has problems with Team Rocket. Vermilion appears to be safe. See, you know what? I'm not even going to get into that. But anyways, I'm getting my Pidgey to fly a letter in Saffron North. Cool. Cool story. Okay, so we got the Pokemon Mart. We got this. Vermilion Harbor, which is down there. Um, I think Pokemon can be good or bad. It depends on the trainer. This is very true. There are wicked people who will use Pokemon for criminal acts. Team Rocket traffics and rare Pokemon, for example. They also abandon Pokemon that they consider unpopular or useless. That's sort of blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I'm going to get some Great Ball. Oh, I still can't get Great Ball. Great Ball is great. Um, whatever. I'll just buy a couple of Pokeballs, I guess. Um, some Super Potions will be lovely restock on everything else that I need that I have gotten short. I've had to use so many antidotes fighting off those Oddishes and, you know, leveling up my Pokemon. They, uh, they loved poisoning everything of mine. They truly did. But, um, that's okay. That is okay. So, looks like we are all inventoried up now. Um, just enough, just enough money for that stuff. Let's see, so I think we got, we're exiting the, the place, Diglett's Cave, not too bad. Notice, Route 12 may be blocked off by a sleeping Pokemon, detour through a rock tunnel to Lavender Town, Vermilion Police, so uh, why don't they just like move the Pokemon, I just never understood that. This is Anne is a famous luxury cruise ship, it visits Vermilion once a year, okay. Well, before we go into the SSN, you know what, I am going to catch a very special Pokemon in Diglett Cave. And hopefully it's Doug Trio, but it's probably going to be a Diglett. Well, isn't this a surprise, Diglett? Doug, this long tunnel, it goes right to Viridian City, they tell me. Okay, um, so since we're going to get ready to possibly... Hey, Kitty Cat got an item. Um, PP up, that's awesome. Um, to possibly a counter a Doug Trio, I'm going to go ahead and send out Jack. That way it won't be able to use any ground type attacks, and hopefully I won't get destroyed. So, let's just, um, we don't want to go too far into the cave. Okay, so we got level 15 Diglett, not bad. Um, so Jack is going to go ahead and use a quick attack. Oh, perfect. I was like, holy crap, is it going to die? Um, so a quick attack and a Pokeball should just about do it. Come on, baby. Come on, we got you, we got you. Yeah! Diglett was caught! Okay, so let's see, Diglett's data was added to the Pokedex? Um, it burrows through the ground at a shallow depth, it leaves raised earth in its wake, making it easy to spot. Nice, and yes, I will nickname you, I am going to nickname you... Let's see what we got here... We're gonna go ahead and nickname him Muscles, just cause when he evolves into Doug Trio, I've always imagined one guy with like three heads with like and then like the bottom part of Doug Trio, like a really muscular body like hugging itself, wearing a speedo. And um recently I found out that I wasn't the only one that thought this because I saw a, saw a picture online of of pretty much the same thing. I was like, holy crap, other people think the same thing. But yeah, totally a muscular dude hugging himself. Um so, wow, with this, this makes our first full roster awesome. Don't know how long we're going to keep it, and surprisingly all male. How ridiculous is that? <laughs> um, but yeah, like I said, don't know how long we're going to keep it. Hopefully to the end of the game, even though my team isn't very varied. Let's see, we have two ground-type Pokemon, we have two poison-type Pokemon, a grass-type Pokemon, two normal-type Pokemon, um, a flying, and a fire. <laughs> Not very varied, <laughs> not very varied, um, yeah, at all, but hey, it's all good, they will go ahead and dominate, I definitely wanted to catch Diglett to be for Lieutenant Surge, um, just because it's always good to have a backup, oh, and I don't know if you guys noticed, but I did evolve Spikes into Nidoking, 
Spice is now Nido King. Awesome. Um, I evolved him after he learned Horn Attack, which I thought he needed. And then when he uh, evolved, he learned Thrash, which is very handy to have. Um, I don't want to use that too often just because it has a chance of making Spice confused. And I do not want him to hurt himself. But yeah, he's definitely um, definitely has the best stats out of all my team members. You guys want to look at that? Um, you know, attack 48, HP 72, speed 51. I mean, compared to Charmeleon, all stats are better. I think compared to anybody, all the stats are better. So, um, yeah, awesome. We got Nido King. And, um, yeah, we're just going to have a whole bunch of fun. So, um, I'm going to raise muscles up probably to around level 20 as well. And then we will go ahead and press on to the SSN next time. So, this is CTK, peacing out.